everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name's Alexa Ray. Welcome to my May reading wrap up. I can't believe we are already at the end of May. It's May 31st today. It's the end of the month. We are almost halfway through the year. Time's going by too fast. I wish we could just slow it down a little bit. Happy almost June 1st guys. We are doing a May reading wrap up. I love doing these types of videos. I love talking to you about all the books I read. I read some really cool books this month. Some really cool book talk books. Some really good book recs from you guys. It was actually a pretty good reading month as in I read really good books. I didn't read one book that like I didn't like. I feel like that's good. That's a that's a good reading month. You already know the routine. We are going to go through all the books I read in the month of May, review them, talk about what I liked and disliked, talk about my ratings of the books, just kind of have fun with it. I love doing these types of videos because they're so like chill and laid back and I just get to sit here and talk to you guys about books. That's what I love doing. And since I didn't read one book that I didn't like this month. I'm really excited. But yeah, we are gonna hop right into this video. Okay guys, hi. Happy May 31st. Fun fact, I actually filmed this video earlier and then I took a nap halfway through. <laughs> So we're refilming it. Hello, hi, how are you? May was a very good reading month for me, as in I didn't read one book I didn't like. So that's good. Good for us, yay. We're gonna jump right into this wrap up and we're starting with the first book I read in the month of May, which is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This was so surprising to me. Going into this book, I didn't think I was going to like it. I didn't think it was my type of reading style, my type of genre. I just didn't have high hopes for it. And I was so wrong. I was so wrong because this actually wound up being one of the best books of my entire life. So this follows the story of Avery Grams. She comes from a poor type of family slash lifestyle. Out of nowhere, she inherits billions from Tobias Hawthorne and she has no idea why. She has no idea who he is. She doesn't know why this random man would leave her his entire fortune. The whole book revolves around Avery and the four Hawthorne grandsons trying to figure out why their grandfather would leave his entire fortune to Avery and not his family which is kind of wild if you think about it. Imagine you think that you're in line to inherit billions of dollars and all these estates, and then you just don't. It goes to a random stranger. Avery Grahams and Hawthorns are trying to figure out this mystery slash puzzle that their grandfather left them. Jameson and Grayson Hawthorne are like the two main boys in the story, I would say, and... <laughs> I still don't know if I'm team Grayson or team Jameson. I really like Grayson because he's kind of like edgy, bad boy. Kind of gives me Christian Grey vibes in this weird way. I don't know, maybe it's just his name. And then there's Jameson who is just adorable and loves the whole idea of it being a game and a puzzle. He has to figure it out. He's like Sherlock Holmes or something, I don't know. I like the whole mystery aspect of it. I think the plot twists in this are pretty wild. I thought the storyline was so cool. I thought the puzzles were so cool. I thought the romance aspect of it was just so cute. Overall, I think this was a super easy read. The chapters are fairly short, which I love short chapters in books. I think the writing style was super easy going. It was such a good read. I definitely recommend this to literally anyone, honestly. It's just got like a little bit of everything in it, and I think that's what makes it so good. I didn't really dislike anything in this book. There were just like certain scenes that I wish it didn't happen, but that's just because I want it to be a perfect story, and it's never a perfect story obviously. I gave it a five star rating and it is one of my favorite reads of the year so far. Next up we have The Hawthorne Legacy which is book two in the Inheritance Game series. This is so wow. Okay so I actually haven't finished this book yet. I just started it a few days ago but I still want to show you guys it and talk a little bit about it just because it's part of the series. I feel like it's fitting to put the two books together. So this continues the story of Avery and the Hawthorns trying to figure out the big mystery, the puzzle. This is just so good so far. Can't give you a full rating slash review on it just yet, but I can say it is so, so good. It's honestly just as amazing as the first book, and I am so excited for the third one to come out in August. Something I really love are the book covers of these books. They are so gorgeous, but they also have little hints and pieces of the storyline in the covers. This is book two. Book three comes out soon, and I'm so excited. I get a lot of questions about my little book tabs that I 
use and I wanted to share them with you guys really quick. So I get my book tabs from Target actually. You can find them in their book section. They have like so many different ones but I recently picked up two new ones and these ones are absolutely adorable. They're little donuts and then they have room on them to like write little notes if you want to. And then I also picked up these ones that are just little dogs. I'm obsessed. They're so cute. I spend money on these to annotate in my books and mark my spot just because I don't like actually writing in my books. I don't want to ruin the pages. The next book I read in the month of May is Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. You guys know, you know, I'm such a huge Coho fan. It's like a Coho fandom over here, honestly. I'm obsessed with Colleen Hoover books. I just really love her writing style, her storytelling, her plot twist they are just so addicting i can't help it i love every single book i read by her i've never given her books like below a four star rating regretting you this was really cool to read it was definitely different from her normal type of books and writing style i feel like this is actually like more of a mother daughter perspective type of read you kind of watch a mother and daughter navigate their lives together and how they go through this tragedy together it's hard to be a mother and it's hard to be a daughter and I think this book does a really interesting job in showing that the main idea and concept of this is definitely communication communication is key in any healthy relationship this book really defines that for you regretting you it tells the story of Morgan and Clara Morgan had Clara when she was super young and now that Clara is a teenager Morgan is basically trying to make sure that Clara doesn't make the same mistakes that she did when she was her age so she's a little over bearing a little overprotective. I understood Morgan's point of view in this story, but I also understood Clara's. At times, they were both really annoying. We went between Morgan and Clara's perspectives, and seeing both their perspectives, I understood their stories. It was definitely annoying at times because I knew what was going on, but they didn't, so they would just clash, and you would have to read through it. I really loved Miller Adams in this. I thought he was absolutely adorable. Jonah was so sweet. I think every Everyone needs a Jonah in their life, honestly. Jenny and Chris, you already know. This is a really cool book. This is one of Colleen Hoover's green reads, so if you are a bit younger and you're looking to get into Colleen Hoover books, this is probably a really good starter because it's not like spicy or anything like that. I did rate this a four out of five stars just because there were a few parts in this book that just really annoyed me and I just didn't like it. And there's just like a few loose ends in it that I wish were kind of tied up at the end, but I know that's what Colleen Hoover intended it to be. Still an amazing read. I would definitely recommend this. Yeah, I absolutely love this. Next up, we have another Colleen Hoover book and it is called Confess. Guys, this book, it quickly became one of my favorite Coho books ever. I'm obsessed. I am absolutely obsessed with this. So this follows the story of Auburn Reed. She moves to Texas for family reasons. She meets an artist named Owen. She starts working for him. And the story basically revolves around Auburn and Owen and their development but also Auburn's reason for being in Texas. It's so cool. It is one of my favorite Colleen Hoover books ever. I really like that Owen's an artist in it and the whole aspect of art in the book. The book mainly revolves around confessions and art. I just think the entire idea was super cool. I really enjoy the art aspect, the confession aspect. I think Owen was just so amazing. Colleen Hoover writes the best characters. I always fall in love with all her characters. I was just wowed with this. This entire story. I do think again there were some loose ends in here that could have been tied up but nonetheless I did give this a five star rating. This is actually my favorite Coho book ever and then Reminders of Him, November 9th and then Ugly Love following this. I love the story between Owen and Auburn and the chemistry. If you're looking to jump right into Colleen Hoover world and you're looking for a good book to start off with, I would definitely say Confess is such a good read. Five star read for me and I absolutely recommend this. Okay guys, so 
That is it for my May wrap up. I only read three books this month. Going into this, I was kind of bummed. I was like, man, I only read three books this month. Like what's going on? But I am still really happy and proud of myself. Reading's my happy space and it's like a happy hobby for me. I never want to feel forced or like a job. So, so that's why I didn't force myself to read too much this month. This month was pretty crazy. I graduated. We're finally settled in our new apartment, which is exciting. We are wedding planning, grad school, planning, honeymoon planning. There's just so much planning. Nonetheless, I'm still really happy about these three books I read this month. I am obsessed with all three of these books. I'm so happy with them. I definitely recommend all three of these books. So, so good. Three amazing books down for the month of May. So excited to see what June has to hold. But yeah, those are all the books I read in May. It is the end of another month. We are going to hop right into June with high hopes and optimism. I know I only shared three books with you guys today, but I hope you were able to take one of these books away that maybe you haven't read yet. Maybe you want to reread or give a try. If you have read these books, let me know down below what you think about them. If you like them, if you dislike them, if you're team Grayson or Jameson, still trying to figure that out. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. Let's me know that you like these types of videos. You like my book content. You like my wrap ups, my TBRs, my reading vlogs and all that fun stuff and then don't forget to subscribe down below if you'd like to see more of me I post weekly guys I post weekly it's basically free entertainment every single week you might as well subscribe I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video